Kylie Jenner's new brand, Kai, is set to launch tomorrow, but like with most things Kardashian, there is some drama surrounding it. A designer named Betsy Johnson has come out to call out Kylie Jenner, accusing her of having copied her concepts for her clothing line. In a recent interview with the Wall Street Journal about her new line, Kylie said that there wasn't really anyone telling her what to do here. She was quoted by Sports Illustrated saying, The whole line is really inspired by my personal wardrobe and the different moods that I'm in, the reality TV star said, adding that she's currently in her King Kylie era, who I am at my core. Creatively, I have such a strong vision of what I want to look like and what I want to do and what I want to wear. There's really no one telling me what to do. But according to Betsy Johnson, she feels that Kylie has stolen from her in order to create her new line. Betsy is a creative director, stylist, consultant, and used to be the visual director for Yeezy. In September, Betsy announced her new line called Products. It's a limited collection in collaboration with two brands, and it features monochrome and black leather coats. When Betsy's line launched in September, her products line was described as framing clothing as a reflection of class identity. This 20-piece collection encompasses garments, footwear, and accessories crafted from eco-friendly leather and sustainable, ethically sourced materials. The project serves as a thought-provoking commentary on the necessity for brands to embrace commercial strategies in the midst of economic downturns. Increasingly, we witness brands that once prioritized aesthetics and artistry shifting their focus towards commercialization tactics including celebrity endorsements, brand ambassadors, and e-commerce trends to remain pertinent and secure funding. This product critically addresses the industry shift, delving into the dynamics of bringing commodities to market and highlighting the vital role of sustainability in the era of rising commercialism. Now, the whole concept and the language describing it is what Betsy is feeling like was stolen from her. So with the announcement of Kai and all of these things being written about it and the concept of Kylie's line coming out, all these red flags were being waved to Betsy as she felt like things were sounding a little familiar. Kylie's line that's set to drop tomorrow is in collaboration with a brand, Namilia. And the Financial Times shared more about her brand on an Instagram post that in the caption read, Kylie Jenner is launching her own fashion brand, Kai. The label, which draws inspiration from Jenner's personal wardrobe, will release frequent capsules through collaborations with designers, other brands, and cultural figures. The debut collection, created in collaboration with Berlin-based brand Amelia, will be available on November 1st on Kai.com and the brand's social media platforms. It will include 13 pieces, including full leather pants, coats, tops, and base layers, priced between $48 and $198, and available in sizes from extra extra small to 4X. I wanted to make Kai a platform for our customers to have the opportunity to experience fashion through new designers and brands, but at a more accessible price, Jenner said in a statement. One of Jenner's first business ventures was a clothing line produced under license with her sister Kendall Jenner called Kendall and Kylie in 2015, the same year she founded Kylie Lip Kits, later renamed Kylie Cosmetics, a beauty line that was valued at $1.2 billion in 2019 when Cody took a 51% stake in the brand for $600 million. Kai, which is based in Los Angeles, was launched in partnership with Emma and Jens Greed, who were also involved in Skims and Good American, brands founded by Jenner's sisters Kim and Khloe Kardashian. Betsy Johnson ended up sharing this caption on her Instagram story with a bunch of middle finger emojis, as she clearly felt this whole concept had been stolen from her after she had shared it with Kylie, and she wasn't the only one that was feeling the same way about things sounding very similar. Betsy took to her Instagram story shortly after Kylie had come out to tease her line, noting that she was getting texts from her friends that were feeling like Kylie's line was sounding a lot like her own line, Products LTD. The messages read, wait sis, why is the caption giving me Products LTD concept tease? Did you think this or am I bugging? Now, I think the parts that do sound similar to Kylie's line are the fact that this is a limited collection they're collaborating with other brands in order to put out these limited collections. We're talking about minimal number of pieces that are going to be coming out. 
and the materials seem similar, the whole color scheme, the aesthetic. But I will say that Betsy's line definitely seems to have a lot more thought put into the meaning and the messaging of everything. The description for it was way more elaborate than Kylie's, but there are certainly some similarities there. Betsy later on added more to her story, accusing Kylie and her team of stealing the concept for her brand and said that she had actually sent everything over to Kylie that was for her brand products LTD. She had sent a line sheet, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a rundown of products, their costs, the materials and things like that. And she had sent that over to Kylie and she was revealing that she had done this on her Instagram story and her Instagram story read, we emailed Kylie and all her team at products.ltd concept and language and a line sheet six months ago. Interesting concept, Kylie. Interesting. Thanks for the cosign. F your support. Now, I wonder if she's trying to say that she shared them to say, hey, let's work together on this. And then Kylie went and did her own thing or if she just shared them to share them and then Kylie went and did something similar. It's kind of unclear why she sent them over. I'm not very clear on what the reasoning behind that was, but clearly she's regretful, that's for sure. But something I will know is that she said that she shared these concepts with her six months ago, but Kylie Jenner posted on Instagram yesterday that it was her brand's birthday. So I'm assuming one year ago this was developed. I mean, if we're saying happy birthday, that's kind of what I'm envisioning here. But the trademark filing date is from May of this year and not a year ago. So maybe this happy birthday is just more of a launch day celebration birthday type of deal. So not too sure about that, but Kylie has said in in TikToks that she's been working on this for a very long time. Hi, launches on November 1st. I'm wearing my trench coat tonight and I wanna show you guys how I like to wear it. And I think with Kai, just trying to create like great fashion pieces that you could have in your closet forever that are great quality at an accessible price. So really proud of this. I've been working on this for so long and I've, put so much love into this. Everything had to just be perfect for you guys. And I can't wait for you to join the Kai family. You can sign up for early access now on Kai.com, K-H-Y. I'm feeling so amazing about it. But either way, Betsy still felt like her brand's products had been copied and continued posting on Instagram, calling out the brand Kylie is collaborating with for the launch, saying trash move, Namilia, also and later went on to say, while I stare at my student debt, worked my butt off for this, like so many other working class kids who bust their butts for expertise they weren't born into to realize their ideas. So this whole thing has turned into a mess, but it's not stopping Kylie from moving forward with her launch. She hasn't addressed this drama at all either, and I don't think that she's planning on it, but Betsy is really pushing on Instagram for some credit in the line as she really does feel like her ideas were copied. And I mean, when it comes when it comes to this famous family, this accusation has been made before, so people aren't that surprised by it. As for Betsy, people have been defending her online, but there's also some saying, why would you even want to share concepts with the Kardashian Jenner just based on the potential of something like this happening given their history? But some others have claimed that leather coats aren't anything original and don't think that the pieces that Kylie is putting out is similar to her line. So there's a lot of thoughts that are surrounding all of this. And I will say that Betsy isn't the only one that people think that Kylie's line is similar to. In a recent TikTok, Kylie was doing an unboxing of the products that she is about to put out there. And when I saw these little baggies, I thought this looks like skims. And Everyone in the comments was talking about how these pieces, these basic core pieces that she's putting out, they look like Skims. Uh, but I can't be surprised that she's putting out something that's similar to Skims because Chloe has also done something very similar to Skims with her brand, Good American. She sells bodysuits, she sells tops, sweatpants. I mean, it started out as a jeans company and then she just kept expanding. And of course she has a ton of products that are not similar to Skims at all, but some of them are, I mean, the bodysuits and things like that. Like they look just like what's sold on Skims and now Kylie's doing it too. I'm sure it's like a little bit different, but I'm sure the price of it is basically the same and it looks basically the same. And I think with them kind of taking ideas from each other, they're just 
maximizing the amount of revenue that they can make as a freaking family. And they're not going to get mad at each other, except, you know, if this was like Courtney's line, she would definitely be mad because we have seen throughout the past couple of seasons of Keeping Up with the Kardashians that if someone is copying Courtney, it's not going to be a good day for them. But these three having somewhat similar things being sold on their different clothing websites. I don't think it's like a problem for them, but that is something that people were noting as Kylie was sharing more of what was about to come out and be a part of this collection. I want to know what you guys think about it. The accusations against Kylie and her new brand, your thoughts on Kylie even coming out with this brand. Let me know everything that you think in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>